Mr Speaker, with the weight of the new evidence in this report, it is right for me today, as Prime Minister, to make a proper apology to the families of the 96 for all they have suffered over the past 23 years. Indeed, the new evidence that we are presented with today makes clear, in my view, that these families have suffered a double injustice. The injustice of the appalling events, the failure of the state to protect their loved ones, and the indefensible wait to get to the truth, and then the injustice of the denigration of the deceased, that they were somehow at fault for their own deaths. So on behalf of the government, and indeed our country, I am profoundly sorry that this double injustice has been left uncorrected for so long. Mr Speaker, because of what I have described as the second injustice, the false version of events, not enough people in this country understand what the people of Merseyside have been through. This appalling death toll of so many loved ones lost was compounded by an attempt to blame the victims. A narrative about hooliganism on that day was created, which led many in the country to accept that somehow it was a grey area. Today's report is black and white. The Liverpool fans were not the cause of the disaster. The panel has quite simply found no evidence in support of allegations of exceptional level, levels of drunkenness, ticketlessness or violence amongst Liverpool fans. No evidence that fans had conspired to arrive late at the stadium. And no evidence that they stole from the dead and the dying. Mr Speaker, I'm sure the whole House will want to thank the Bishop of Liverpool and his panel for all the work they've done. And I'm sure that all sides will join with me in paying tribute to the incredible strength and dignity of the Hillsborough families and, and the community which has backed them in their long search for justice. While nothing can ever bring back those that were lost, with all the documents revealed, nothing held back, the families at last have access to the truth. And I commend this statement to the House. Yeah.